early for the mother earth news fair when we lived in california we always would you know read the magazines and but there was just never like an actual fair like close by at all so when we moved here this is a kind of a neat opportunity to come check out the fair read the magazine so to actually be here at the fair it's kind of cool they just don't have this kind of stuff in California <laughs> Also, Joe Salatin's supposed to speak, so that's why I'm here, really. I want to hear him talk, maybe get some inspiration, take notes. Hey, you too. Yeah, take care. Hi, yo. Man, I just want to shake your hand. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This is to? Uh, it's due to my daughter, uh, Pen Penelope. Man, I first heard about you probably like eight years ago. I was in California. I was looking for grass-fed beef, and you're the only one that came up on the internet. Oh. Because no one was doing it out there. And then, next thing you know, I'm here. Like, yeah. It's crazy. Very cool. Yeah. Good. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Thank you. Yeah. I 
didn't even realize Salatin was gonna sign books. He made it out to Penelope. Salatin was somebody that I look up to. If you haven't heard of Joel Salatin, we went and did a tour of his farm, Polyface Farms, last year, and I did a video on that. Salatin is probably like the guru of pastured poultry. So even if you're not into that farming or anything, I mean, just his, just to hear him talk in his perspective on just life, uh, it's just very motivating and inspirational. And it's funny that seven years ago, when I was first diagnosed with cancer, when we were really looking into our food and nutrition and our diet, we were learning about how to raise animals correctly, how to raise animals healthy, and we found out about pasture-raised poultry. We found out about grass-fed beef. So I would Google pasture-raised poultry. And the only thing that would come up would be Joel Salatin's Polyface Farm. And he's out in Virginia. I used to think, really? Like, you know, we're in Southern California, the closest, and the only thing I could find is a farm in Virginia that sells pasture poultry. We didn't know, I had never heard of Joel Salatin. So fast forward seven years, next thing you know, last year, we did a video, we went to his farm and did a tour. Today, you know, I'm meeting him, I'm having him sign a book, I'm shaking his hand, I'm just telling him thank you for being an inspiration. I'm hearing him talk. We're at a Mother Earth News Fair. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. I mean, that just goes to show you like, you never know where your life is gonna take you. You know, we're raising our own pastured poultry. I mean, seven years ago? Seven years ago is not that long ago. And it all came from me having cancer and wanting to know where our food comes from. That's it. So I appreciate you guys watching and let's keep moving. How many roads must a man walk down before you call him a man? Yes, and how many years can some people exist before they're allowed to be free? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind.